Hey guys, what is up? Uh, I'm back. It's another Saturday, another stream. Uh, just checking, I've got my microphone on this time. Oh, I don't know about anyone else, but I am, you know, I'm three weeks into um, self isolation and quarantine and stuff like that. It's been some very nice weather uh, where I am today, um, which I've been enjoying and taking advantage of. But um, yeah, I wanted to come on for an hour or so, maybe a couple of hours, uh, do a little bit of stuff and do a stream at the same time. So if anyone's watching this, what up? Tell me about your uh, your quarantine experiences so far. And we're gonna listen to some lo-fi music with Kat, if she wants to come up. Come on. There we go. We've got Kat's as well. So it's me and Kat's. Uh, doing some particle effects today in Unity on my project Odd One In. So before I get into that, um, my name's Harry. Wild Goat Games is my um, indie game dev initiative. Um, this is the website, wildgoatgames.co.uk. Uh, I've been doing it for about a year and a half, two years, something like that. Uh, I've released two games in the past. One of them is called Puck You. It's basically the standard Pong clone that everybody makes. Uh, when they're learning about game dev stuff. So if you fancy playing Pong with power-ups, you can get that on wildgoatgames.co.uk and it's on Mac and Windows and everything. Um, and then uh, around about the end of the year as well, I released something called Tessellate, which is also for free on Google Play and the Apple App Store. It's a mobile puzzle game. It's basically, um, you know, I'm going to make that full screen so it's legible. Uh, it's basically... Um, yeah, if you're into logic puzzles, Rubik's Cubes, stuff like that, you will enjoy it. Um, it's got nice colours and cool sound effects and stuff like that. Uh, and lots and lots of levels, and people have told me it's very, very difficult. So if you're the sort of person that likes stuff that's difficult, then you will enjoy that. So you can check them both out at worldgoatgames.co.uk. Um, and with all that aside, uh, today, as I was just saying... Um, we are going to be looking at integrating some particle effects into uh, my game, my current game project, which is called Odd One In, which is basically, um, it's like a memory a memory game, like an arcade game where it shows you some shapes, you have to spot the one that wasn't there before, uh, and it'll do that. So just while I wait for my phone to connect, I'm hoping it just made a sound like it disconnected and reconnected, which I swear it does every fucking time. But we'll give it a go. I'm going to press play uh, and we'll just see what happens. Uh, fingers crossed it's going to work. But yeah, as I was saying, today what we're going to do is we're going to experiment for the first time. Well, for me, it's the first time working with Unity's particle system. Um, I found a very cool article, which I'll just show over here, which is about how to get a confetti sort of an effect. Um, from Unity's particle system. So I'm going to be a little bit following along from that um, because it explains the sorts of settings I can play with to start getting the effect that I want. Um, and then obviously um, we'll just see what happens. In the meantime, here's a quick demo of what the game does. So obviously we've got an ugly main menu thing here. If I hit play game, it comes up with a thing where it says memorize these symbols. It shows me three random symbols which have got a random shape and random colours, then it says spot the odd one in. So I think that one in the corner uh, was the right one. And it says, boom, well done. Uh, and now it does it again. I think that one in the corner was, wasn't there before. Uh, oh, maybe that green one. And you can, see, you can see what's happening already. So the idea is I have to spot the one that wasn't there before. Uh, and I'll keep doing it like this. Um, I've, been, I've been playing it quite a bit, so... Uh, Maybe I'm finding it easier than the average player. Uh, or who knows, maybe I need to make it more difficult. That's why we're going to do beast testing further on. And then, so we just keep going like this. And I think I'm slowly but surely getting to the point where... Okay, so now, because we're at the max number of shapes, it's starting to get faster. So it's taking... Uh... <laughs> It's taking a bit longer, so if I press this, oh, it's still going, but it's starting to get quite difficult. Now it's getting even faster. What are we doing now? Oh, I haven't got a clue. Oh, I don't know. 
uh, I couldn't do it. So then it tells me game over and there we go. It shows me the score, uh, which is also my high score at the moment. So there you go, 47. And then if I hit play again, uh, it does some other weird stuff. So what we want to do now um, is we're going to make some particle effects. So when I hit one of those shapes, if it's the right one, it goes kind of like bing and like a whole bunch of confetti comes out of it um, from kind of behind the shape. So that's the plan. And hello, Barabutus. Hope you're doing good. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. The uh, Despite the fact that I've been at home for three weeks straight now, um, my ability to stick to a schedule with the streaming has been rubbish. Um, so uh, I started the stream a bit later than planned last week and I've done the same this week as well. Which, speaking of which, I should update the... Um, uh, at some point I should update the thing on my Twitch page because it says, I think at the moment it says Sundays at 1pm. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go and change that right now. I think for the time being, if I set it to, um, if I, oh, ignore that. That's Twitch making noises at me. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Oh, this is weird. I can see myself on my own stream on, uh, <laughs> on my channel. Uh, You know what? I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna do that separately when I'm not streaming at the same time. It's a bit too trippy um, trying to do that in parallel. Anyway, I don't know if you were here a second ago, but I was just saying uh, I found quite a good article explaining how to use Unity's particle system to create a confetti effect. I'm not necessarily saying um, it's exactly the same as what I want to achieve, but they've done a really good job explaining the different settings um, and what I can do with them to. Uh, to get something that looks a bit like confetti. So you can see down there, um, you can see down there something that looks like a burst of confetti. So I reckon that's as good a starting point as any. Uh, and why try and do something from scratch when someone else can tell you how to get started? <laughs> and then we're gonna play around with it and see if we can make something that looks nice. So I'm gonna go to my gameplay scene. There we go, there's my particle system from before. I'm going to delete that. <laughs> um, anyway, while I'm following this guide, uh, tell me, Barabutus. Um, first of all, do you have a name that's not Barabutus that you prefer to be called by? Because I'm very aware I keep calling you Barabutus. But if your name is actually Ken, then I'll call you Ken. Clint. All right, Clint. Nice. I'm going to call you Clint from now on because it's easier to say than Barabas. <laughs> um, how are you doing anyway? Are you coping all right amidst all the um, madness and everything else? Yeah, I know what you mean. <clears throat> I'm 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 in full full blown quarantine mode as well now. I actually I properly sat outside my house for the first time in weeks <laughs> uh, today. Um, Cause yeah, I've been I've been really bad. So um yeah. Oh hello, there's a cat on my lap. There we go. Come on. No 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 up there. The cats are appreciating having me around more though. I think they, uh, they're getting used to it. Isn't that right, Oshka? You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Okay. Oh, nice. You're getting some of your multiplayer going then. That's very cool, man. At least you're, at least you're staying productive. I'm, um, I'm still working from home, um, amidst all the stuff. So I'm, uh, you know, that, that's really why I haven't been... If, if I was on furlough, I think I'd be um, doing quite a bit more game dev stuff. But to be honest, I'm, I'm actually kind of busier than usual because of the nature of how work stuff has changed um, with everyone working from home now. So, um, yeah, for better or worse, advertising still seems to be going <laughs> as usual. So um, 
I'm still kind of quite busy day to day. But uh, anyway, there you go. Um, all right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna follow some of this article before I start rambling again. Um, let's see. Zero, zero, zero. Mm -hmm. All right, so we can see some particles coming out there, but obviously they're not visible on the screen at the moment because they're white in color, but we'll get to that. Okay, so it's saying, first of all, create a material and name it confetti material. Uh, and yes, I am literally doing, I'm following this like a, like a recipe, <laughs> uh, word for word, and then we'll get to playing around with it later on. Uh, okay, so we're going to create a material, and it's going to be called confetti, confetti mat. Um, set its shader to particles uh, i know by the way i know nothing about materials and stuff like that so this is all this is already uh unknown un unknown area for me anyway particles uh, that's what i want anim alpha blended okay I see there it says legacy shaders. Maybe this is an older version of Unity because the tutorial I'm looking at says to use Unity version 5.0.1 or higher. <laughs> so uh, maybe it's a little outdated. Um, set, set its shader to particles and an alpha blended. Set it in the renderer section of particle system in the inspector. Um, Oh yeah, where well they've got a default particle system. Um, okay, so I'm not sure what I've achieved by by doing that. So basically, it said first of all, create a material and name it confetti material, and set its uh, shaded to particles and alpha blended. Set it in the renderer uh, section of the particle system in the inspector. This applies a material 
to a particle system and renders it in the camera. Okay, so I've done that. I'm wondering if I actually needed to or if it was... Um... Well, we'll see, we'll see. Um... Okay, and then it says, now set the following values. And it's literally just got like a shopping list of different values in here that I can now go in and mess with. So let's give that a go. Uh, and you know what, should we, should we just set it to play so we can see what happens on the screen there as I go through. So number one, duration. Uh, we're gonna set this to uh, duration it is the length of time in seconds for the particle to run. Set this value to 0 0.1. Okay, let's set, see what happens when we do that. All right. Um, looping. If true, the emission cycle re will repeat after the duration. Hey, Medelli, you're back. Good to see you, man. Are you still are you still quarantining? Are you, you know, are you holding up, so to speak? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm having fun with values. So what we're doing right now, because I know nothing about particle systems, materials, anything like that, I found quite a good article um, that actually, if anyone's interested, here you go. Here's a link to the article in case anyone's curious and wants to browse it themselves. Uh, and basically it's explaining how to use a particle system to make a confetti effect. So given that I don't know how to use the um, particle system, I'm going to follow it like a recipe, word for word. I'm not going to experiment at all. We're going to see how it looks, and then I'm going to play with the settings. So uh, <laughs> we'll see. So at the moment, I'm doing this bit. So I'm going through each of these settings um, and adding them in one by one. So the next one, looping. We've done that. We've set it to loop, for better or worse. And we can see it looping there. Start delay. The delay in seconds before the particle system starts emitting. Uh, we're going to keep that at zero. Start lifetime. Um, the initial lifetime in seconds for the particles. The particle is destroyed after this elapsed time. Set this value to 8. Alright. Oh, that means it goes out quite a bit further. Uh, we'll see. Um, Medelli, it is uh, three weeks of quarantine for me now. Um, <laughs> I'm starting to go a little bit, a little bit crazy, to be honest. Uh, you know, for be, for the, <laughs> the cat's uh, the, the cat's um, disadvantage. I'm starting to get real weird with it. Although I say that I've had a bit, I've had quite a good couple of days because I started exercising properly. Um, you know, getting up at a good time, eating a bit more normally. I had a bit of a messy week at the start of just being really lazy. Um, but I'm starting to get back into it now, so it's good. Okay, number five, start speed. The initial speed of the particles. Uh, the greater the speed of the particles, the more spread out they will be. Set this value to 20. Ooh, so we're quadrupling it from the default. Whoa! <laughs> you see it over there on the left-hand side. They're really starting to spray out. Um, start size. The initial size of the particles. Set this value to 0.25. Uh, all right. Oh. Oh yeah. Now they're they're micro now. Uh, start rotation. The initial rotation of uh, angles. Okay, zero. We want we want it to be zero, so that's fine. Um. Start color. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. So if I go to start color, the initial color of the particles, set the type of value to the gradient. Um, click on the color part. Okay, gradient. And then we've got this gradient editor thing. Um, set the color values as shown in the image. You can also set it as you want. Oh, that's nice of them to say, <laughs> to say that. Uh,
<laughs> oh, cool. Paint, paint by numbers. That's a good way to do it. I've been, I've found I've been doing puzzles while watching Netflix. By the way, if you haven't already seen it, immediately. I mean, after I stop streaming, go and go and watch Tiger King on Netflix because that is weird, man. It's it's out there. It's uh, it's a it's a, it seems really lame at the at first, but it's a it's a roller coaster for sure. Um, how do I how do I add another one of these? not going to do what they say, I'm going to do 20%. Okay. In fact, you know what I'm getting... Oh yeah, I will do. Um, hold on, I'll write the name. Okay, so yeah, so it's called Tiger King, uh, and you'll have seen. There's loads of memes about it at the moment. It's the guy with like the the mullet um, and like the eyebrow piercing and stuff, and like yeah, you j you just gotta watch it. It's only seven episodes, so it's not like a huge amount. You know, you could watch it in an, in the in an evening if you really wanted to, but it's. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's weird. Okay, how do I? That's how I do it. Ah, okay. I got it. I want it. Nice one, Clint. We will be we will be here when you're back. <laughs> I like calling you Clint. <laughs> uh, where was I? Flat UI Colors, my favorite website for stealing uh, color schemes to make it seem like I'm more artistic than I am. Uh, so, what do we reckon, uh, Medelli? Which one of these color schemes do you reckon we want to use for our, our uh, confetti? I want it to be quite pastel. Um, but not exactly the same as the other one. So I'm thinking maybe this, you know what? I think this Russian palette is a good shout. Um, yeah, all right, let's, let's, let's try the Russian palette. Um, So if there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, kids watching the stream, see? Hanging out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you know what? Ten. Better be worth it. <laughs> Sixty. Seventy. Oh, it sounds like they've uh, added some new. Oh, they've added some new stuff to the lo-fi beats. To uh, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, ah, okay. It sounds like they don't want me to add any more. In which case. Um, oh no, that's okay. We can work. We can work with eight. Oh no. Oh yeah, your kids are deleting the the code. Oh shit. Hopefully that hasn't happened. And also, hopefully, um, uh, the, 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 hopefully you've um, uh, got some uh, GitHub stuff in place. If not, the Unity. GitHub plugin is actually pretty good as long as you don't do what I did and click revert when it fails to upload it the first time and then you delete your whole project. <laughs> Definitely worth making a local backup before trying to, to use that I would recommend. Um, okay so anyway so if So new plan is going to be 12.5. This one is going to be 25. This one is going to be 37.5. This one is going to be... Um, come on, Harry, use your brain. 50%. This one is going to be... Um, go see we're adding in the uh, we're adding in the colors now let's go <clears throat> uh, what are you guys up to anyway at the moment well I know I know actually uh, Barabutus Clint uh, you're up to uh, you doing the division and now you're you're checking your projects not deleted um,
God damn it. Okay. Okay. Now it should work. Hold on. Oh, hey, do us all game dev. Uh, we are making um, my third game, my second mobile game, Odd One In. It's a memory game. Um, it's like an arcade game where you spot a shape that wasn't there before and it keeps randomly, keeps adding randomly generated shapes. Uh, and the aim of the game is basically keep going as long as you can uh, and don't, you know, don't get the wrong one. Um, and yeah. Um, so it's pretty straightforward, uh, but what we're doing at the moment anyway is I'm, I'm trying to learn for the first time uh, about particle effects um, and make like a confetti effect. So when you tap on the right one, it goes like whoosh and sprays out uh, super quickly while you're here. Uh, if you're interested, uh, you can check out my other games on uh, wildgoatgames.co.uk. Uh, one of them is the standard Pong clone that everyone's made. Um, it's called Puck U. It's got power ups and stuff like that. Um, so check it out if you're bored. Um, there's three balls on the screen, for example. Um, and yeah, there's download buttons there for Windows and Mac if you want to play it. And my other one's called Tessellate, which is for free on the Google and Apple um, app stores. And if you're into like logic puzzles, like Rubik's Cubes, color combination things, stuff like that, um, it's kind of a brain teaser. So uh, people have told me it's quite, quite difficult, but um, yeah, it's called Tessellate. There's links on the website, or you can just search Tessellate on uh, on whichever app store you like, uh, and give it a go. And you know, if you like it, awesome. And if you don't, hopefully this one uh, <laughs> will be preferable. Um, if it wasn't for the fact I was in the middle of doing this, I would show you uh, a quick demo of what the gameplay is like at the moment. But I really want to get this. Um, I really want to figure out this particle stuff. So. I'm gonna selfishly just carry on with that. Uh, so I think if I do this as um, and, oh, and that one's 25, and this one becomes 37.5. Don't mind me while I uh, just dictate numbers out loud, by the way. Okay, 50%, and this one is um, 62.5. That makes this one. Mm, 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 75. And this one becomes 87.5. Boom! And there you go. And now we have um now we have these. Okay, and now oh, fuck, I need to do the same with this now. So that's 87.5. Um and then this one becomes uh, 75 this one becomes 62 point uh, how are you doing anyway um do as our game dev um are you uh are you in quarantine uh, which part of the world are you in and how long have you been in isolation it's week three it's just finished week three for me so uh I'm in it, you know. <laughs> My head's in the in the uh, isolation zone. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, thank you for the follow, by the way. That's awesome. Um, and Malta, interesting, is it? I bet the weather's pretty good. All the, well, apart from all the chaos, at least hopefully the weather's nice and you can like get some sun. We've had a really nice weekend here in the UK so far. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of people not really strictly following uh, uh, social distancing rules, if I'm being honest, because uh, I live by a big park and I've seen quite a lot of people uh, taking it upon themselves to go to the park. So <laughs> anyway, all right. So. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna say quick, quickly press save before I mess something up. <clears throat> okay, so um, mm, 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 mm. let's see where are we at. So, oh, and by the way, uh, Durzal, 
we are basically, because I've never done this sort of stuff before, here's a link in the chat. I'm going through, I found this quite good article about um, how to make a confetti effect using the particle system. So I'm basically literally doing paint by numbers with that at the moment, uh, following it like a recipe. Uh, except I'm playing around with some different colors, because why not? Uh, and then we'll see, you know, we'll see, um, we'll see how we go and mess around with some settings afterwards. So, okay, so I've done the colors. <clears throat> gravity modifier gravity modifier scales the gravity value set in unity's physics where if it's set to zero set this value to three okay so go for three. Oh, uh that's starting to look a bit more a bit more like a confetti spray dude cyberek welcome back and what is up um i don't know how much of my preamble before you heard but um today we are just chilling out, uh, learning about, I'm learning about particle systems for the first time. So you get to watch me following a tutorial on the internet, word for word, and then playing around with it some more. Play on awake. Um, yes, we want that. Max particles, we're gonna set that to 300 apparently. Oh, it's starting to, it's starting to look interesting. Um, <clears throat> Emission. The emission module is one of the most important modules in Unity's particle system. It handles the number and timing of emitted particles in the system to create a continuous flow or a sudden burst of particles, depending on your needs. Okay, but what do I, what do, what do I do with it? They've just, they've just, they've just told me it's important, but they haven't told me what to do with it. Uh, um, okay, let's see what happens if we change rate over time. If we double that from 10 to 20. Oh, now we got some other colors. Okay. If I, oh, guys, now we got some colors. Oh, but it stopped. Okay, there we go. Oof. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. There's something. <laughs> there's something called burst there. Oh, I tell you what, though, I'm I'm keen on those colours. I think I think it looks tight. And uh, in case anyone's wondering where I'm getting these nice colours from, uh, there's a really good website called flaticolors.com that I use to. Um, I've been using to get the palettes for this game. Um, so, pro tip: uh, if you want to make something look nice, uh, then they've got these cool palettes here that you can steal, like I've been doing. And it'll make people think you know how to do art. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there you go. All right, so back to back to these bursts, because they've not told me how to do a burst. They've just told me, um, oh, wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've been reading this article wrong. They explained that emission was important and then they said, as a separate thing, rate over time. The number of particles emitted per second or um, per distance. Hmm. So let's just change that back to the default like it was. Hmm. Trying to figure out. Oh, there we go. Three hundred over time starts to look pretty, pretty good. change it to 500 
I'm going to remove that burst thing for now. Only because it doesn't say in the article. Uh... Yeah. So I'm keeping looping turned on for the moment just so I can see what the effect looks like without having to click play every time. But yeah, I agree. Looping looping's going to be off. Even though this article for some reason says to keep it on, but I don't, I don't really understand that. But anyway. Um, okay, shape. Oh, now we're talking. All right, shape. The shape module, as the name implies, controls the shape and the behavior of particles in that shape. Set its value as the following. Okay, <laughs> now I really am paying by numbers. Um, all right, so shape cone, yes. Angle 20. Oh, interesting. Um, radius 26. Oh, sorry, 0 0.26. Radius thickness. Oh, there isn't a radius thickness in this one. Arc 360 mode random spread zero. Yep. Yeah. Emit from base. Hmm. Okay, so that's all it said. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with the article and then we'll play around. Ah, oh, maybe I'll help test your thing. We can do that on a stream. I, I, it's, it's multiplayer like over the internet, right? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Force over lifetime. All right, let's. Uh... over lifetime oh thanks man uh, th this microphone is a, um, I should probably, if I put my face nearer as well, it probably sounds a bit better. I have a bit of a habit of coming back here while I'm streaming, um, because the monitoring in my ears is very clear, and then I forget that it doesn't sound exactly the same on the uh, recording uh, or the stream. But it is a um, Samson G-Track Pro. Um, so in the UK, uh, you can get them for about £100. I, I think, well, let me think actually. It, I, I got it quite a while back, um, but it varies from about um, eighty pounds to one hundred and twenty pounds, I think, depending on the um, depending on the stuff. Uh, but it, yeah, it's just that with uh, like a cheap pop filter that came with this mic stand thing, um, and a lot of me wasting time—not wasting time, but a lot of me spending time fiddling with the dials, um, and actually. Uh, so I opted for no modulation and filtering and, and compression and stuff like that um, in OBS because when I tried that I thought it ruined the audio quality and made things sound like oh you can see one of my neighbours in the uh, <laughs> in the background of the stream there I'm sure they I'm sure they appreciate that um, yeah so you can you can see all this sort of stuff and. Um, I felt like it ruined the sound quality and made it sound like a cheap microphone and so I'd rather just keep background noise which is also part of the reason I have this um uh yeah dude I'm not gonna lie I was obsessed before I started doing this stream which is uh in a couple of months ago like January sort of a time I spent weeks obsessing over getting the sound okay because um yeah it was it was a thing for me as well it was like a real bugbear um, anyway, 
What was I doing? I really like that colour palette for the cafe though. It looks fucking nice. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, uh, okay, so rotation over lifetime, collision. I'm not going to do the con collision plane thing because that's not really the effect I'm going for. Okay, so actually, this is pretty much uh, this is pretty much the extent of the article, which is great because uh, so this guy, let's give him a shout out, uh, Kitan, Kitan. Uh, Jo, uh, Jogadia, uh, big shout out to nimblechaps.com for a very very useful guide on how to use Pascal system uh, from 2017. So there you go. Um, so yeah, if anyone's interested, I put a link in the chat. But um, all right, so he's gone now. Um, and now, so the first thing is obviously this is massive, um, and I want it to be much more like coming out around the back of the thing so I wonder do I just literally change the scale to 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 oh I can hear a cat ah so that does something <laughs> uh, Hey, oh, Brian, that's my that's my desk. Come on, don't be an idiot. No? Coming up? <laughs> I've got a cat who's like walking around me and making noises and he doesn't know what to do with himself. <sighs> All right. So anyway, where were we? So I think what I really want to do, let's say, if I whack one of my symbols prefabs in here, for example. Let's whack a symbol in there. Um, and let's make its size a bit closer to what it normally is in the game. Uh, let's make it 0 0.3. 0 0.3. And even though it means nothing, I'll change the Z to 0 0.3 as well. Um, Right, we're gonna we're gonna make this like this as well and we're gonna we're actually gonna position it I think at minus one Okay, so um, oh wait, what's the uh, what's the status you just linked? Oh, this is weird. It's opening Twitter. It's opening up Twitter as an app within Windows. Oh, weird. Uh, ah, well, okay. So long story short, I um, uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, how weird though. I didn't know. 
So I just clicked your link and my Windows 10 or whatever version um, has now automatically opened up Twitter as an app. Anyway, um, I was using this GitHub for Unity plugin because I historically I've never properly backed up my projects and I thought I've made such good progress on this on this game project. I've done all this stuff. I need to, you know, need to back it up. I should be, you know, be smart about this. So I researched the GitHub for Unity plugin um, and, and I tried using it. And because uh, I've got some uh, Google Firebase stuff in here, basically um, the Firebase files were bigger than the, they made the file size for the overall project bigger than what uh, GitHub um, allows. So uh, the first time I tried it, it, it failed to back up the whole project. So then I thought, oh, okay, you know what I'll do? I'll, um, somewhere in here, there's a button that says revert. I can't remember where. But basically, uh, I clicked the button that says revert, and I didn't think about it. But what that did is it then looked at what it the the incomplete stored file it had on the computer, and it pulled all of that from sorry the incomplete stored file it had on GitHub, pulled all of that out of GitHub, and replaced the local files on my computer with the incomplete version of the project, which basically had nothing in it. Um, and so it basically it wiped from my hard drive with no way of recovering it. Like I tried everything, I, I found all these random guides on the internet. So I, I started again from scratch. But I'm really pleased because I've ended up with um, a whole game system that works much better. So it was a good. It was a good. Um, in the end, it was a good um, experience, <coughs> sort of. <coughs> anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we what do we think about that? Like major major confetti coming out. Wait for it. <laughs> Actually, that's quite a good effect, isn't it? Maybe that's all right because it kind of rains up and then comes down. But it's still coming from the middle of the shape. I want it to be behind it. So for me to do that. What I need. If I change this to back to zero. the okay yeah let's just quickly quickly see what's going on here um If we keep that at zero, uh,
Oh, there we go. Now it works. Hmm. Oh, I know, I know something. I wonder if it's possible for me to change the Z position over time. Let's have a quick Google. Unity particle system, Z position over time. Basically, I want them to start behind the shape, but like when they fall down, I want them to be in front of the shape. If you get what I mean. I know what I can do. I can do the maybe velocity over lifetime. Or no, sorry, maybe force over lifetime. Oh, maybe it's the, um, oh, now we're talking. Okay, so that definitely blasts those through through the front of it. But that's kind of the gist of what I'm after. Maybe if I make it minus one. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe... Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it for now. But I know what I do want to do, which is change the... So if we switch back to 2D now, 
I want to change the size of this cone thing because it's I think it's still a little bit too um I think that's okay actually. I think um oh it's starting to get dark so I'm gonna yes. So, premium stream moment right there. That's a uh you know stream exclusive pulling the blind down. Um yeah, what am I doing? I ba basically uh <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I made it spray out, <laughs> spray out sideways. <laughs> sort of looks like the symbols vomiting at the screen. In fact, if I just quickly, ch <laughs> if I if I quickly change that to minus one again, yeah, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, it's like the symbols v v throwing up at us. Um, <laughs> should we just keep it as that? <laughs> uh, uh, Anyway, what was I? Uh, oh, bollocks. What was. What did I. Oh, God. What did I change? Where does it say 200? Where did I change it to 200? Um. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Um, I'm actually going to take a very quick pee break because I've drank too much coffee. And I'm going to get myself another coffee as well. So, I'll be back in approximately 90 to 180 seconds um at which point i will um figure out this last bit of this thing so back in a sec
What up, ding dongs? I am back. Uh, that was maybe a little bit longer than uh, I'm. I'm famously bad at timekeeping, so that was probably a little bit longer than a minute and a half or whatever I said it would be. But I've got the sweet nectar of uh, coffee. So there you go. And, um, one of my few pleasures in life is uh, seeing uh, seeing a full a full tin of ground coffee. I've got like a you know in my cupboard I've got a tin for coffee grounds. And today today was um, today was refill day, so I, I I had a couple of new packs and I cut them open, uh, you know packs of like Lavazza whatever stuff, poured them in, and now I'm like ah oh, it's it's oh, it's the good shit you know, it's like a uh, crack for me. Um, anyway, all right. So here's what my current feelings about this default particle effect are. Number one, the squares are fine, but eventually I wouldn't mind. I think I'm going to make like a little slightly more wibbly wobbly sort of a shape um, in Photoshop. Oh, I hear a cat screaming. Brian, little screamer. Come on, come on. Buddy, come. <laughs> He's weird, sorry. Um <laughs> Oh wait, you can't you can't drink coffee. Is it is it some something uh stomach related, I'm guessing, like a stomach acidity, like maybe Crohn's or something or like um uh some something of that nature. If so that that's um that's very frustrating. Um and I feel for you very much. So what I was going to say was that, so, okay, basically the effect that I want is for the particles to come out of the shape, maybe not go completely, that it needs to be more like a bam, like it needs to be more of a blast. So I think the speed at which they come out at, um, needs to be f faster so start speed what if we change this to 50 for example okay <laughs> well <laughs> if we change it to 50 it basically just makes them really crazily fast what if i change it to 10 then it's really underwhelming. We've got 15. You know what? I think their original thing of 20 actually wasn't a bad shout.
Mm. Okay, I'm messing with this.
Oh, look at that. It does like a rainbow thing. Oh, uh, if anyone's still watching, where do we stand on the... So previously, I had it at duration 0 0.1, which meant it just randomly, always randomly pulled in any of the colors. So we've either got like the mixed approach like this, or... Uh, you can, we can go rainbow style, you know, where it gradually fades between them. I have to say, I kind of, I kind of dig the um, the rainbow streamer sort of a thing. Or do we prefer random? Random is random though, which is sort of works a bit better. But more importantly, it's still not doing exactly what I want it to. So I think what I need to do is do start speed, and let's say if we make that. Let's go crazy, make it 100. So now, it's going crazy. And going like, really fast out. But what if I change the gravity modder to, modifier to 10? Change that to 100. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere now though. Ah, nice one, Medelli. Well, it's nice to chat to you, and um, good luck with your next week of uh, isolation. <laughs> Hopefully, everything goes cool. Uh, which which one looked nice? Sorry, the current the current one on the screen. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Part of me thinks because I keep thinking about oh maybe I can make it quicker and more like a a quick burst where it goes like. Pfft. Um. But I agree. I think it looks pretty cool. The only thing I wish I could figure out how to do. Is that so you see how it's starting behind the shape here like I really wish I could figure out how to get it to um, to be in the foreground when it comes down if you see what I mean so it spawns behind the shape and then it comes over and then it's like in front and if I turn off the um, if I turn off this oh where am I God. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Which way am I going? Oh God. <laughs> you know what? We're not going to do that. We're just going <laughs> to. Um. Thank you. 
Okay, well, okay, here's what I'm going to do now, actually. We're going to very quickly open up. Ah. You're right, it's the order in layer stuff, isn't it? But do you think... If I change the order in layer, though, is it? does that mean that when it spawns, it's still going to look... Um, Ah, what if I do render alignment and instead of doing view, I could do it something to do with, um, what if I change it to uh, local? Okay, well it seems that stopped it from doing anything. Maybe world. No, still the same. Velocity. Now I'm just like clicking buttons. Oh, that was weird. Um, let's change it back to view. What if I change it to the same layer as the symbols? Yeah, see, ideally what I want the particles to do is to spawn behind the symbol like they were before. And then appear in the foreground. But, you know what, for the time being... Um, for the time being, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry myself over it. Um, and instead, uh, that's what I was going to do. So we got. Uh, well, I'm very quickly going to stop that from doing that. I'm going to click save before I forget. Um, all right. So let's create a new <clears throat> new thing, uh, and it's. make it 500 by actually it doesn't need to be anything like 500 let's make it 100 pixels by 100 pixels because that will be more than enough uh, transparent background yes uh, okay that'll do no she doesn't um, so Durzal Game Dev, tell me what, uh, as your name implies, I'm assuming you're a game dev. So uh, what what sort of stuff are you developing or hoping to develop? Tell, uh, have you got any any projects on the go at the moment? <clears throat>
think if I go to convert to curves. That's what I wanted to do. Something like that. Nothing crazy, just... Uh, uh, but now the question is, have I just messed up the... Um, sharpen the crap out of it. Hmm. Or did we want to do the opposite and uh, blur the crap out of it again. Let's go all the way back if it'll let me Oh, okay, yeah, I think that's better actually. Here's what we're going to do instead. <laughs> is, uh, uh, we're going to blur those top and bottom bits as well. brush and oh no I can't oof that's why it's not working because I had the wrong layer selected oh that's more like it okay not really what I want. Uh. Oh, that's horrible. gonna do any of it <clears throat> we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it as it is uh, we're gonna see what happens if we export it um, do, 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 do. there we go uh, we go to the 
community projects, odd one in, assets, textures, uh, not symbols, confetti, we're going to call it. Confetti particle one, we'll call it that. I don't think it's going to look very good, but if we just let it load up, let's see what happens if we, so we've got our confetti thing here, this is it doing what it was doing before, okay, and now, uh, alright, so there's our confetti particle one, uh, and if I go down here, shape I'm not convinced that it actually uh, used that shape That's interesting. Well, there's the thing. I'm not so sure about the uh, the gradient that's applied to all of them, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> something something looks bad there. You know what? I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, where are we? If I go back to this confetti material and I switch that back to none. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the squares. I, I like it. It's uh, it's flat, flat design. You know, it's very, uh, very modern, very, very cool, very modern. Um, <laughs> oops. Uh, okay. Okay. So if we actually delete that, pretend it didn't exist. We're gonna forget about this for the time being. Um, Interesting. So when I turn off looping,
Let's stick with the original plan, I reckon, um, for these. <clears throat> I can always mess with the settings in future. So what I want to do now, anyway, is, if I go down here to my pre prefabs, I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Particle Systems. Bum, 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 bum. And in here, we are going to drag and drop confetti and now we're going to we're going to delete it from there um, and then if we change scenes back to menu Here within the game manager so we've got our asset library here um, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to head over to uh, scripts I've ended up spending more time on the stream than I was intending as well but it's good because I'm getting I'm getting something done uh, I'm going to open up my c-sharp project and I'm going to take a sip of coffee while that opens what we're going to do now is we're going to add it to our asset library um, and then within the game scripts um, when it registers the correct shape being tapped we're going to instantiate um, that prefab <clears throat> behind you know basically behind the shape that was tapped um, so it's going to spray out 
spray out some stuff. Come on, Visual Studio. Are you still uh, are you still here? By the way, does our game dev and uh, Barabutus? If so, give me a give me a shout while we wait for um very slow, oh, very slow loading up of stuff. <laughs> still here, Clint. I feel I can't tell if it's cool or if it's weird if I call you Clint. <laughs> Oh really? What what are you um what are you stuck on? Not that I'll be able to help, but you know, sometimes sometimes it helps to describe the problem to someone else to understand what needs to be fixed. There's a cat outside of the view of the camera, just like glaring at me. She's in duck mode, you know, where her paws are. Oh, now you're coming over because I'm flicking at you. Come on, watch it. Watch it. There we go, we got a cat. Oh, there you go. You see multiplayer stuff totally out of my remit. But uh, yeah, that sounds like a frustrating problem. <clears throat> so, what do we need in our? Uh, we need our asset library script, and we're gonna add a new thing in here. Just, um... oh, okay. public list uh, oh I actually I'm gonna need to think about this what is a particle system is it just gonna be counted as a game object let's try game object and let's just see, see if that works Let's see if it lets me add this now. should have particle systems. I'm going to change the size to one. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Boom. Okay. Nice. Perfect. So we got our thing, um, which means I think it might be as simple as going to gameplay manager, correct touch. Um,
is it going to be as simple as um, Instantiate, uh, and then the object is one is what was it called it was called um, particle systems element zero uh, trans clones the original uh, That's what I want. So I want the position. Now the position needs to be uh, find new symbol. Okay, so the position will be find new symbol. Dot transform uh, oh no so this is going to be ha have to be position I think that should be right see uh, how do I uh, you you might know this Durzel um, the um, or, or Barabatus um, if I want to say uh, quarter qu neon um, however you say it it always makes me think of um, onion um, the quaternion um, rotation do I just say uh, new yeah new quaternion Ah, that's what I want. Nice. So I think, uh, perfect. Thank you guys. See, that's that's why I need you here, because <laughs> uh, I'm kind of making it up as I go along. Okay, so we instantiate the particle system. Uh, we do it at the position of the new symbol and the rotation is normal. So if I hit save, 
Ooh, who's ready to just like, we, let's just fucking test it and see what happens. Ah, except we've got a, we've got some sort of ensure read write is enabled on particle systems texture. Okay, <laughs> I've, cl I've cleared the console. That seems to have fixed it, so we'll see what happens now. Okay, we're going to press play. And Durzal, you will now get to see, unless everything's broken, you will get to see what the game looks like as well. So, um, just waiting for the old phone. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here goes. If I... If I can get it to rotate, there we go. So if I click play game, boom, memorize these symbols, goes down. Oh, ah, balls, I forgot about that. Hold on. Ah, that's what we need to do. Sorry, we're going to go. Scenes, um, gameplay, that one can fuck off. There we go. Back to the menu. Let's try it again. <laughs> we'll pretend that didn't happen. And then pretty soon I've got to go and uh, have something to eat for dinner because uh, it's already quarter past eight. It's funny, I said I was only going to stream for like an hour or so. It's been, oh, it's, well, to be fair, it's been two hours. That's not crazy. Um, uh, let me just try that again. I think I fiddled with the cable while it was trying to, <clears throat> while it was trying to access the phone. We're just we're waiting for the magic magic white screen come on come on boom okay perfect <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna hit play game comes up says memorize these symbols in a random color okay there's three symbols that, uh, okay now spot the odd one in whoa that was pretty good I mean it wasn't quite right but Sort of close. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> so something's <laughs> something's not quite right there. Uh. Oh, I know what needs to happen. It's because it's in, it's creating the particle effect and it's not deleting it. So what I need to do is uh, da, 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 um, so let's just check. Oh, something actually. I will find the prefab and I'm going to give it a tag. That's going to make it easier. Uh, so if I call, if I find this, and we're going to add a tag. Betty. All right. Now it's going to be confetti. Uh, cool. And so now, if I go over here. <clears throat> I see what you mean. Um, yeah, that's that's a good shout. Um, to get hmm T 
to do that, um, I would need to tr communicate. Uh, yeah. Let me just think. Yeah, so over here we've got... Um, You know what? It's it's dude. It's to it's dude. It's totally possible. It's totally possible because it's all handled within here. Okay. So what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna put vector vector three um, touch position, and then this one is gonna be touch uh, touch position. Bam. Okay. Nice. Um, and then up here, in fact, we're going to go for vector two, and we are going to put in touch, touch position two D. No, we're going to go for touch position. Sorry, uh, because it needs to be a vector three, doesn't it? Because uh, the other thing takes a vector three. I'm, I'm opening the link you posted, does I? I see what you mean. You're talking about my script up here. You know what? I hear you. Okay, let's do it. I'll do it now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think that's a good shout. Actually, I'm gonna very quickly literally just add it here Equals uh, camera dot main. Ah. Oh, whoops. Okay, cool. It was literally just that one reference. So there we go. Mm, 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 mm. Um, and yeah, I think Okay, so I think the thing now should be carrying across from oh yeah dude 100 percent. like if there's anything you spot that i'm ever doing and it looks like i could be doing it better uh that's how i learn right because uh i have no like formal um programming background like obviously i've done like bits and pieces in the past but it's all all kind of new for me so all i know is what i know <laughs> um 
So what I needed to do was um, function manager All right So the bit I'm trying to figure out now is if we just click play again. Um, also, I'm very aware the the menu there looks disgusting. Like um, you, the the UI is coming. I, I, I keep saying it, but the UI is coming. Uh, <laughs> So if I hit play game, memorize these symbols, there's three symbols, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, believe me, I'm, uh, I am very familiar with debug log. Um, that's, uh, part of my, um, Part of my shtick. What I want to know is why, if I go to my gameplay manager, why is it when it's bringing in, is it this identity thing? Basically, it's not doing the. Yeah. Oh no, dude. I know. I know. Um, so I, you know, basically, in some places, you, you just don't need. You don't. You don't need to pull in a variable. So you see down here, I'm using um, that sort of stuff, um, and here. Um, but in some cases, you just you just need to say something with a label. Um, <clears throat> so I'm using it. You know depending on the depending on the circumstances basically what I'm trying to figure out now is um, it I don't know if you could notice but when I was tapping the thing it wasn't spraying up like it was supposed to it was kind of just going blur and I wonder if it's something to do with this rotation thing uh, like what if it instead What if I say uh, Oh, okay. Ah, but I don't think I don't think I want that because I'm pretty sure it was I believe. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know what W is, but we'll give that a go.
Ah, gotcha. Okay, let's let's whack this up on this screen. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot of white. It's hurting my eyes. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, right, okay, I got you. So if I say... this uh ah right okay yeah uh. yeah like that uh, let me just quickly double check if I click on this prefab here Yeah, so you see here how it's got rotation minus 90 degrees for the X. So I think what I've got here should, if I just resize my window a bit. Um, uh, oh God, what am I doing? Yeah, I think hopefully what I've got here is basically saying do it at the position where someone touched the thing and then give it the rotation of minus 90 on the x-axis. So I think, shout out if um, that looks like it's not doing that, but I get the feeling that it might be sort of the sort of thing we're after. So <clears throat> anyway, okay, so that's saved. So now if I click play, let's see what happens. And if it works, <laughs> just, yeah, I, 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 I agree with you guys. Here's a fun fact, by the way. Uh, probably the best part of, like, ten years ago, some oh, not ten years ago, like, let's say six or seven years ago, um, I made, a, funnily enough, an indie games review website with my, with my roommate, uh, well, my housemate. Um, I wrote about indie games, uh, and he wrote about indie comics. Um... And for some reason it worked, and the website was was called the Quarter Melon. And whenever I see Quaternion or whatever you call it, it reminds me of the word Quarter Melon, like watermelon but with a Q. Uh, and yeah, it just makes me laugh. Those were some good times. Okay, so three symbols. Ah, oh, I wasn't paying attention. That one. Yeah. Boom. That was a bit more like it. Okay, now what we're still not doing is stopping that blast of stuff. Um, and also what we're not doing is the X position of the confetti should be one. So this is actually gonna be new uh, vector three. And then it's gonna be touch position dot X touch uh, position dot y and then we're going to do one for that which should hopefully sort that out yeah yeah, yeah I, I agree so All 
right. Ooh. So I I think you guys are right. I think let's go to gameplay. Let's um whack in our uh, uh da, 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 da. let's whack this one back in. And instead of having it, so at the moment it's looping and it's spraying out like a trillion things. Instead, so what I want it to do yeah there we go that's a good one I think boom Yeah, what do we reckon? I quite like that, to be honest with you. It's a bit more like what I had in mind. Okay, let's let's give it a go. Yeah, I think I think four as well. Nice. Um, oh look, we got a cat over here. She's been she's been cleaning herself. That's nice. You're a good cat, Oshka. I better feed her soon. <laughs> she's starting to get angry at me. Um, okay, so if we delete that again uh, except ah no I forgot balls hold on okay <laughs> let's do it again let's turn off looping let's change this to four if we hit restart boom there we go and now uh, apply all there we go uh, okay let's see let's see how that feels um, but before we do that um, magic variables hit me up see I don't I don't see any issue with this with just saying new vector 3 because um, it's only being done once as a thing um, and we're not we're not making up variables we're just directly putting a value in um, so as far as I can tell this is or do you mean this instead of having new vector 3 ha have this defined instead so um, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that um, having having uh, having new vector three causes unnecessary uh, strain on the computing of the you know on on the on the on the output basically on the performance. So instead of saying new vector three here, what I should really do is have. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Here's what we're going to do. This is going back to. Mm. <laughs> okay, I hear you. But, so for example, how do I. What do you think I should fix? Because I was just thinking about it there. And I would still have to do the same thing once anyway. And it's only ever happening once. Um, okay. In the meantime, I'm keen to try this thing. So we're going to go to scenes. We're going to hit play. Alright, <clears throat> memorize these symbols. So we've got a flower, a gem thing, and a star thing. Boom! Oh, that was cool. Boom. 
A little bit too fast though. Don't you think? Oh, see now it's a bit more normal. How weird. Have you noticed that? Is it just me or is it sometimes it's going a bit faster than other times? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think so as well. Mm, 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 mm. So to fix that super quick, uh, we are literally just going to bum, 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 bum. See, the thing is, um, I think instead of instead of delaying the success card coming in, because the game's going to be quite snappy and like um, fast paced. And I found when I was testing it that it got really annoying. Um, <clears throat> the more of a delay there was, uh, it got quite annoying. Um, so instead of delaying the, the speed of the gameplay, instead, I'm going to make the animation a bit shorter and a bit simpler. Um, so yeah, we're going to go back to gameplay. We're going to whack this one in. And just temporarily, we're going to try it with, let's see what it looks like with 6 gravity. Um, and if we change the speed to 10. Oh, let's change it back to 4 gravity and keep it on 10. Where do we where do we stand on that? We can, we can give it a go. something else I wanted to do here as well which was um, so um, scenes menu card system load next level so if I go here to load next level Objects 
find object with tag. Um, confet uh, oh. Cool. I think that should. Because basically what I was noticing was there was like 20 instances of the thing getting brought in and it was uh so I just want to make sure that once once it's not on the screen anymore it gets you know wiped out so okay hit save I'm gonna go to the console okay we're gonna click play I definitely feel like the um, the speed at which it's coming out though is different to what it, in the game than what it was in the other thing. Oh, it is quite quick that that thing comes in though, isn't it? Oops. Okay, we're memorizing those. Oh shit. Is it that one? Ray, okay. Nice, and I can see the confetti thing is being deleted as well. So that's not bad. Uh, although... Oh, there's definitely something funky going on with the speed at which stuff pops up though, isn't there? Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Um, but, you know what? Um, because it's been about two and a half hours, and I feel like I need to stop and get something to eat, the important thing is that the system's in place. So I'm probably, I think I might leave it there for now. Um, and I can always mess with the settings further down the line to kind of get it looking, um, get it looking how I want it to. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I think I think probably for now I'm going to leave it there. Um, which means if I go over here and uh, let's just call it. Yep. Okay. Uh, by applying this commit oh thanks guys that's cool you guys are awesome and um thank you very much for hanging out while i was doing it you know i'm gonna be honest i was i was late starting the stream today because i wasn't really in the mood to do it um because i feel like a lot of this quarantine stuff you know self-isolation um it's quite easy to get kind of lazy um and yeah <clears throat> so i was kind of putting it off but I'm really glad I did stream, and and also I'm I'm glad you uh you came and hung out, Durzel, because uh yeah it's been nice having you here. Um, so and also I try I stream every Saturday. Um, yeah yeah yeah. But uh, Barabutus, I will I'm gonna update my thing now. Um, but yeah, ba basically uh every Saturday sometime in the afternoon, <laughs> like previously it was between twelve and one, then it sort of slipped to about one to half one past couple of weeks it's been more like 3 p.m this week it was like 6 p.m <laughs> so uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try and be a bit more consistent next week but basically saturday afternoons till evening i'm usually streaming so yeah but i'm just gonna quickly commit this thing uh, by applying this commit you will add the um first iteration of the confetti particle effect and the script to spawn it instantiate <clears throat> instantiate it um, on correct symbol touch that was a good shout about the touch position though I think that's <clears throat> way more 
way more immersive as far as effects go. So very good shout there. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, I need to make myself some food <laughs> because I haven't eaten for hours. Uh, okay, if I just push, yep. Nice. Um, okay. So, uh, without further ado, oh, last little thing I'll say. I can't remember if you were here when I mentioned it before, um, Dursal. But uh, if you're bored while you're in quarantine, give um, uh, either Puck you if you feel like playing some something Pong related on your computer, or uh, or more importantly, uh, Tessellate uh, if you own a phone and you want to play a free game that I made. Um, yeah, there's links to the app stores on the website, which is wildgoatgames.co.uk, but otherwise um, you can just search the word Tessellate and it'll show up. Um, so yeah, if you... Uh, oh, dude, wait, you already tried it. Oh, no way. Well, that's very cool. And I would love to know what you think of it. But um, yeah, you know, it was my it was my first game that wasn't Pong. So there you go. Oh, right, yeah, of course, you were here when I showed it. Yeah, but anyway, if you get bored, check it out. Uh, and uh, I, I would, uh, you know, I, w I would value your thoughts. Um, although I'm not planning on doing any updates to it, but I might do a Tesla 9, <laughs> Tesla 99, as uh, Dom on a previous stream was saying. Anyway, right, I'm going to shut up now. So, um, yeah, I think this was a good one. Uh, it was nice and straightforward. Uh and we'll, um, you know, we'll pick it up on the next stream as well. Uh, so, yeah. All right. I'm going to stop rambling now and I'm going to go um, because I always rumble. Okay. Thank you very much for hanging out, guys. And I will see you next Saturday. So, bye.